Hello and welcome back to ZoneMinder TV. Today we're going to be installing ZoneMinder 137.28, which is the latest master branch nightly package on Ubuntu Kinetic. Uh, the instructions for this are almost identical to the installing of 1.36 on Ubuntu 2004 from a previous video. Um, but people made requests for you know, more up-to-date versions, so we'll give it a shot and then I'll move on to making another video about the new features in 1.37. So without further ado, same old steps, we're going to first install MySQL Server so that when we install ZoneMinder, it automatically creates the database and creates the users and so forth. Saves us doing that manually. You don't have to read the documents, we don't have to do any cutting and pasting, it all just magically works. Next step is to my packages for ZoneMinder that are newer than what comes with Ubuntu. Let's not forget sudo. I've been researching how to get rid of the keyboard noises. I think I'm going to need a new keyboard with one of those silicone um, keyboard protectors. Apparently that's the best way to do it, but I don't have that yet. Maybe for next time. Another thought is to um, make a different version of these videos without my head over in the corner uh, and just do the audio track separate. That's another good way to go. Okay. So, uh, tell Apache to enable the ZoneMinder configuration. No. Automatically enabled, and we need them for the API. And there's also two more that I like to enable for performance. Uh, they, they allow Apache to tell the browser when a file hasn't changed, so it improves the caching. So, Okay, and let's see how we're doing. Perfect. Here we are at our privacy prompt. Uh, now let's talk a bit about this. Uh, this tells us exactly what would get sent if you were to enable the telemetry. Uh, we like to collect this information so we have an idea of, of the types of cameras people are using, what kind of resolutions, frames per second, etc. Um, so we can make better choices in, in where we focus our efforts. Um, you'll notice down here at the bottom though, it defaults to decline, in which case it won't send anything. We do value your privacy. So we'll click apply. We have to specifically tell system B to run it uh, on boot and to keep it running. And we could start it from here, or we could have started it from that, from this button here. We could have clicked there and started it. All right. So now I have a 1.36 system here that I use for development. And I'm just going to cut and paste uh, camera config into this. This video isn't about adding cameras, it's about um, just getting this installed and then we're going to move on to other things because the instructions are the same as we've covered in previous videos. And there we have it. Successful install of a camera and install of ZoneMinder. Very basic install, obviously there's lots more to do, but again, I've covered that in other videos and there'll be more videos to come. So stay tuned for my next video where I'm gonna make immediately, uh, where I go through and compare the features, what, what has been developed in 1.37 since 1.36. Because in Porsche 1.36, we don't add new features. We only do bug fixes. It is a stable version. Uh, so if you want the new stuff, you gotta run 1.37. Now. We, when we say it's a development version and it's bleeding edge, um, try to understand, we run this in production. 
Um, this is, we consider it to be stable. Occasionally I break it, it's true, uh, but I also fix it very quickly. So don't be afraid to run uh, the master development from my PPA. Um, I generally push new versions of that PPA when I think things are pretty solid. Um, if I'm a bit really experimental, I won't bother. Not until it's gone through some testing. So really, it's not too bad. Make sure you have your database backups uh, set up, and you can always uh, get back. Uh, you can actually re, you know, reinstall a 1.36 version over uh, a 1.37. The database changes aren't aren't conflicting. It's not a problem to jump back. You can't unfortunately jump back to 1.34. There were some major database changes there. You have to you know go from a, a database restore process. But 1.36 to 1.37, no problem at all. So I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, if you like it, uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Uh, also, you know, we definitely need more donations and sponsorships, so please consider becoming a patron. I do make other videos uh, with more in-depth uh, content uh, that I really only, I make, you know, I've got to limit the some, some, somehow to people who uh, are paying supporters of, of Zone Miner. So uh, I also take more f requests for people who are funding Zone Miner development. So please do consider that. And uh, anyway, have a nice day.